What's going on guys? Matt and Michael here from Schnee's. Uh, if you haven't met Michael before, Michael is our, uh, he helps with customer service and marketing and uh, he's a great knowledgeable boot expert if you call and you talk to him. He, he knows his stuff, he was wearing all of our boots and uh, he's, a, he's a great asset and uh, we're here to talk to him today about the granite. This guy right here. Um, this is like the sheep hunting boot. I would venture to say it's the best sheep hunting boot. I yeah. think Michael might agree. Um, so let's dive in uh, and talk about some of the construction and what makes this boot such a great sheep hunting boot and uh, kind of start at the bottom and work our way up and give you a little overview before we talk about when and where you might want to use this boot, not just for sheep hunting, but it's great for a lot of other uh, uses as well. So let's dive in. All right, so starting at the bottom with the granite, uh, we've got our proprietary Vibram uh, Savo outsole. Um, good level of softness to the rubber without being, you know, too soft so it wears down over time. Um, soft enough for like wet rocks and that kind of thing, but hard enough that, you know, you're going to get several seasons out of one tread. Um, like all of our other boots, you know, completely resolable when you do wear down those treads. Um, then we've got the dual density polyurethane midsole um, with our heavy duty rubber rand around here just to prevent you know nicks and scratches from rocks and scree and that sort of thing. Um, the leather on the granite is probably one of the biggest benefits. It's our most, it's the thickest leather we use on any of our mountain boots. It's a 2.8 millimeter wax leather. So you can feel it's got a waxy texture to it. Um, that just also helps prevent water from soaking in as well as gives it a little bit more abrasion resistance as well. Uh, the hardware on the granites is cool. It's a ball bearing hardware, um, so super easy to lace up um, with also, you know, not being able to over tighten them because we do have our lace locks here. So once you get the toe box area to where you like it, you can cinch this down, lock it over, and it will kind of hold that uh, lacing system there without evening out throughout the day. Then going all the way up to the top, you can see on the inside, our granites, like all of our other boots as well, uh, we've got a moisture tech face. Um, that just kind of helps prevent wick moisture from your sock so you don't sweat out as bad. Then, on this one specifically, this is the 600 gram granite. We've got the insulation plus our Sympatex waterproof membrane, which is pretty bomb proof for a waterproof membrane in our experience. Um, granite's also available in zero gram, 200 grams, and a mid-height as well. And that's the quick run through on the granite. So that was a great run through on the granite from Michael. Uh, let's dive into like when and where you might use these. You know, obviously we've touched on, they're a great sheep hunting boot. And uh, you know, why are they a great sheep hunting boot? Well, they're, they're tall, they're stiff, they're durable, they're rugged. You know, like Michael pointed out, the rand is uh, a heavy duty rubber rand. It's gonna protect the leather. Uh, if you're getting into like some gnarly scree or sharp shale or whatever um, we've seen these boots come back with the rubber um, you know like scratched or torn or cut and the leather's fine underneath and the rand we can replace the leather's a little bit harder to replace but uh, yeah I know I know where and when I would use these uh, but I'm curious to hear when Michael would want to use his granites he's, he's definitely have a little bit more time in his granites than I have in mine but yeah where, where would you want to use yours yeah I mean I think you know stiffness in a boot is a lot of personal preference um, but you know it definitely does give you a bigger advantage in like steeper country whether you're side hilling or going straight up just having a much more stable platform um, to kind of edge and tow your way up a, a face but um, you know like I think walking on tussocks is a really good thing like up in the tundra um, I Ex was explain what tussocks <laughs> is for some people who don't know what tussocks is uh, just like the the tundra um, that you're in like up in like central Alaska. I was up there last year and I don't prefer a super stiff boot. Most of the time I kind of like to be a little bit lighter weight, more flexible. Um, so I was in Baratus and you know, it kind of kicked my ass a little bit um, just cause your foot's never on a flat surface. It's always moving like this. It's almost like walking on like half inflated volleyballs. Nightmare. So having a, a good stiff boot um, saves your feet a lot when you're doing, you know, double digit miles some days. Um, but even for like around here, like, uh, you know, Western big game hunting in Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, um, guys who just want like a really durable, 
stiff boot. Um, it's probably tough to beat the granite from a durability perspective. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention too is every stitch on the granite is triple stitched or double stitched. So you really lower the risk of blowouts and anything bad happening on the hunt. Um, and you know, over time, if it does wear down in any part, like from the ran down, we can totally rebuild it. So if you just, if durability is your main concern um, and you don't mind having a stiffer, heavier boot, then the granite's a, a cakewalk. For sure, yeah. And I think, uh, you know, the other time we might recommend a granite is like depending on the person. Um, you know, if, if you're a big guy and you're gonna be carrying a lot of weight or something, like we might recommend you go with the granite versus something less stiff. Right. Just because there's not as much weight acting on the boot to like twist it and bend it and stuff. I know that I, I personally like run the bear tooth most of the time, but the times I do uh, wear my granites are usually if it's going to be like steep or nasty, or I know I'm probably going to have a high chance of twisting an ankle. Yeah. So I put these guys on, and it, it's just uh, an, another level of like stiffness and ankle support. Um, yeah, it's, it's a great boot. Um, what else about this boot? I mean, and we find a lot of like, you know, a lot, a vast majority of our guides and outfitters tend to migrate towards something like this just because it is, you know, a lot more durable and, you know, the average hunter, you know, getting out a few weeks, you know, maybe a month at most of the year, um, plus some scouting stuff. Like you don't really need all this boot, but the guys who are, you know, putting in a hundred days guiding in the spring and the fall, plus wearing boots all summer like you are going to get a lot more run in something like this like the way i always put it with a lot of customers is like it's compared to a bear tooth or something like that it is just a lot more boot overall for sure that's a good way to put it um we'll end on my favorite saying i've ever heard someone with granite say is that they're going to get buried in their boots i think that was pete right <laughs> yeah uh in his granite specifically sorry um, like Michael said, you'll find a lot of uh, guides, professional hunters, guys who spend a lot of time in the field. Uh, this is the boot they run in for good reason. Uh, check yourself out a pair today over at schnaze.com. Uh, give us a call. Michael or Cody or myself will probably answer and talk to you about them. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks.